At address, golfers make a reasonable attempt to position the club with the club face center on the ball and the club face facing the target. It's a position to which they would very much like the club to return. If we can accept that premise, then the golfer would be well served to do everything they can to make the task as simple and repeatable as possible. If we wanted to make the task complicated and difficult to repeat, we could make a swing incorporating a wide range of hand flexion and extension, like so, or a twisting motion of the clevis orientation with pronation and supination. We could swing along a variety of swing paths, and we could sway and slide our body, which moves the very hub of our swing. Conversely, we could make the swing simple and repeatable by doing the opposite. Make our swing with no flexion or extension, no hand cocking. Eliminate the twisting with no pronation or supination. And swing along a single path that is parallel to our target line. And finally, stabilize our body by maintaining our balance. You can work towards this goal of producing a simple and repeatable swing by using our freeze drill. In this drill, we make a swing freezing the club in various positions to confirm that we have not injected any unnecessary and misdirected actions with the golf club, so our swing can more consistently return back to the address position. We'll begin by inserting a long golf tee into the butt end of the grip of your wedge. In order for the wedge to impart its loft to the ball, the club should be sold with the shaft perpendicular to the target line and the club face perpendicular to the target line. We'll call this the six o'clock position. Now, note the position of the golf tee relative to your left arm. It's about two inches. From address, we'll make the backswing very slowly, observing the shaft tracks the target line until the club is parallel to the ground and parallel to that target line. We'll call this the nine o'clock position. Check the T. If it is still two inches from your left forearm, you've made the backswing on the same path that will be effective for a forward swing and have preserved the club's address orientation. To confirm this, we can freeze the club, rotate our torso, our torso horizontally to face the target line, and what you should find is that the club easily can return back to the six o'clock without any manipulation. Next, we'll again swing slowly from six to nine, Confirm the T maintains its relationship to the forearm. Now we'll progress slowly from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock. As we do this, we'll see the hands hinge, or what technically is referred to as radial and ulnar deviation. When they do, the T will rotate its position, but it can still be perceived to be two inches from the forearm. Again, we can confirm that the club is still in a dress orientation by freezing the club, rotating the torso, and lowering the club back to find that it has not lost the dress orientation. With the backswing complete, we can now do the reverse. Slowly swing from 12 to 9, 
confirm that T has maintained its relationship to the forearm, then slowly from 9 to 6 o'clock, and observe that the shaft again tracks the target line, and we have successfully delivered the club back to the address orientation. The next step is to swing forward now from 6 o'clock to 4 o'clock. At the 4 o'clock position, the shaft of the club is pointing at our target, and the T maintains the 2 inches. Confirmation again can be achieved by freezing the club, rotating back with the torso to the address position, and find that the club can easily be positioned at 6 o'clock without any manipulation. From 4 o'clock, the T maintains its orientation to the left forearm, and the shaft proceeds around the torso and over the left shoulder. Freezing the club is precisely what's accomplished in putting when players were allowed to anchor their putter against their chest or their stomach. It's what some players currently achieve by anchoring the putter against their left forearm. This anchoring or freezing ensures consistency in the delivery of the club to the ball. It comes down to a simple fact that any change to the address orientation of the club during the swing will require a compensation or a fix if the golfer is to achieve the desired ball flight. This freeze drill can help you work towards the wonderful goal of having a no-fix golf swing. I'm Ed LeBeau with Heartland Golf Schools.